Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hey, let me preface this by saying that if I'm sounding or speaking a little weird to you, it is because I have in my Invisalign, my teeth hurt. But that is not what you came here for and that is not the purpose of today's video. So obviously, as you can see, it is time for another wash day. But before we get into today's wash day, please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. And if you enjoy the video, I greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up because it really does help my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. It is no secret that I have started the movement known as hashtag use your stash. If you are anything like me and you have entirely too many natural hair products to get through, this is the place you need to be. Today's wash day is going to be really laid back. I don't feel like getting in nobody's shower, but I do have something that I want to bring to your attention. While we are all about hashtag use your stash around here, Nagus Vanda was gracious enough to send me some more products to try out from the line. This is the Ayurvedic Essence Thickness and Growth pre proof Treatment, which I have never tried, but I I'm excited to see how it compares to the Chevy pre food treatment, which you all know that I love. My hair is about dry as hell and it's just, it's ready to be taken care of, okay? So I have my hair in four sections. If you're fine just doing your hair in two sections or if you need to do six, eight, Whatever is feasible for you, that is what you do. So to save time, I've actually already pre pooed this side of my hair and the directions do suggest to apply this on damp hair. So I have been going in with a bit of water from my spray bottle. This is the consistency of the product. Really thick and creamy. It's almost like a curl cream consistency. And I have been liberally applying that throughout the sections. And as you can see, the slip is there. You all saw how dry my hair was. This section where my hair is the coarsest, my fingers just would not, they were not gonna go. But as you can see, with a little bit of water and this pre -poo, I am able to get my fingers through the section, which is essentially all that I need for my pre -poo. I am making sure to get this all over my hair because this is a pre -poo treatment. The directions do say to leave it on for about 45 minutes. So I want to reap the benefits of all of the ingredients, but especially the Ayurvedic ingredients. But this is what the section is looking like after I have thoroughly finger detangled the section. It's a pretty thick formula. So it's really, really weighing my hair down, which is aiding in keeping my hair stretched and helping me detangle a whole lot easier as well. So far, the pre poo definitely understands the assignment. I am going to finish up this last section and let voiceover Alexis tell you a little bit more about the product. First of all, let me mention that every single product that I am using today will be linked in the description box. So if you want to support me and my channel, make sure you purchase directly through the links down below. So again, to pre poo today, I'm going in with the Negus Vanda Ayurvedic Essence Thickness and Growth pre poo Treatment. This pre poo claims to add thickness, condition hair, add volume, and maximize hair growth. As usual with Negus Vanda, this pre poo has phenomenal Ayurvedic herbs, including hibiscus, brahmi, shikai kai, methi, also known as fenugreek, neem, ringraj, cassia, amla, aloe vera, just all types of goodness. Of course, once I finished applying the pre poo to all four sections, I covered my hair with the plastic cap and let it sit for about 30 minutes. All right, so I'm all done rinsing the pre poo and this is what my hair is looking like. She is. <laughs> Listen, you see that definition we got going? So now I'm going to separate my hair for cleansing. I'm gonna go in with my first cleanse and I'm only doing two sections because I'm not in the shower and this is a hot ass mess. It's, it's water all over the place. So for my first cleanse today, I'm actually going to go in with one of my favorites. I have mentioned this on my channel before. This is the consistency. I'm just going to lather this all on this side of my hair. And you can see lather is not a joke. If you are a regular here, you may already know what this shampoo is. And look at how hydrated that section of my hair is after a shampoo. Okay, that's me. I'm gonna get to work cleansing the second section. So I'm using the Sienna Naturals Happy Shampoo. Y'all probably already knew that. I haven't used this shampoo in quite some time and I was swiftly reminded upon application how wonderful it is for me and my hair. It's just, it's just fantastic. This is definitely one of my more gentle cleansers. 
but it's just it's so effective at cleansing the buildup off of my hair without making my hair feel like hey and i'm also able to finger detangle and anything that is easing detangling for me whether it be before during or after the wash day process is a winner in my book so as usual i'm just making sure i hold my ends taut while i'm massaging my scalp to get all of the gunk and build up from the week off and I'm making sure that I massage around my edges and hairline as well because that is also hair that needs to be cleaned. Also let me know if you all use a shampoo brush. I'm contemplating getting one maybe like a silicone one that way it's anti-fungal and easy to clean and it's not going to be too abrasive on my scalp. So if you use a shampoo brush let me know which one and how it's been benefiting you. So I'm all done working the shampoo throughout both sides of my hair. I'm going to do my second cleanse offline using the As I Am Coconut co-wash which you all have seen me use mention and all of that a million times i'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back and deep condition okay so i am back i have rinsed my hair and it's been drying down in my t-shirt towel for about 20 30 minutes and this is what my hair is looking like so now it is time to go in and deep condition you all know that i like to deep condition with damp hair it just works best for me but you do what works best for you I am going to be deep conditioning with this creamy goodness here. And I'm just going to start off by saturating the ends and working my way up the section. And I like to kind of split my sections up like this so I can make sure all of my hair is being coated. This deep conditioner is on the thicker side, so if you are someone who likes to finger detangle with your deep conditioner, you may want to consider applying this on soap and wet hair if that's not already something you do in your regimen. You all know that I don't do that. I also don't care if my deep conditioner has slipped. It's more so about how it makes my hair feel. As you can see, with this being thicker, it's not going to give me much definition. It's just weighing my hair down, which is fine by me. I'm just going to twist that section up once I feel like it has a generous amount of the deep condition on it. Especially I to make sure I get all up in here because my crown is so dry. So FYI to deep condition today, I'm actually revisiting this Soltanical Sprout Tastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat which comes from their Sprout Rice Vitamin line. And you all know that I love the Sprout Rice Vitamin Butter Shampoo specifically. I haven't had any astronomical success with any of the other products in that line that I've tried, but we're gonna revisit this today just to see if it's worth a repurchase because Black Friday is coming. Put that all around the perimeter and on the ends of the section. And then I'm going to like subsection so I can get all up and through. So of course once I have it thoroughly worked through the section I'm going to just go ahead and twist it up. Okay so I am all done with applying the deep conditioner to all four sections. As you can see I have put on my plastic cap and I am going to go sit under my dryer maybe for about 20-30 minutes and then let my hair cool for another 15-20 minutes before rinsing with warm water and of course once I'm finished all of that I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. All right, so I am all done rinsing my deep conditioner. And this is what my hair is looking like. Hmm, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Okay, so of course I started off my wash day as usual with my pre poo and today I tried out this Negus Banda Ayurvedic Essence Thickness and Growth pre poo Treatment. Come on focus. Thank you so much. It has a really kind of thick texture So although it says you can apply it on damp or dry hair I prefer the damp hair method just because I want to make sure I get all of my hair coated without having to use the entire jar This was actually pretty good for me Especially after adding some water to the section my hair was extremely dry and tangled So I knew in this instance applying it to dry hair just wouldn't work out for me This has peppermint in it So it automatically jump started my wash day with a scalp tangle which you all know that I love this also had good slip, but I will say after rinsing it out, 
For my preference, I prefer the Chebe pre poo treatment because it makes my hair feel a bit softer. While it is not my beloved Chebe pre poo treatment, this was a really good and effective pre poo treatment for me. And if you are interested, I would definitely recommend you pick it up and be sure to enter the discount code TRESSES at checkout. Of course, after rinsing my pre poo, I went in with two of my favorite cleansers. First up, I went in with the Sienna Naturals Happy Shampoo, and then I followed that up with the As I Am Coconut Co Wash. I have mentioned these being some of my favorite moisturizing cleansers a million times. Times. This is a really gentle cleanser, but the lather on it is still rich. And because the lather of this shampoo is so moisturizing and rich, I'm able to finger detangle with this as well. And it just leaves my scalp feeling nice and fresh. So 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. Again. The As I Am Coconut Co-Wash has been in the game for as long as it has because it actually works. There are legitimate reasons that I mention this often when it comes to moisturizing cleansers. And you all know that I am not a co-wash stand per se. But if you are looking to get into co-washes, this is a great place to start because of how accessible, affordable, and effective it is. And lastly, to wrap up this full ass wash day, I went in with this Soultanical Sprout Tastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat to revisit it and see if it would be better for me this go round. Here's the thing, this is definitely the thickest deep conditioner from Soultanicals that I have tried to date. For me on damp hair, it didn't really distribute really well. So if you are someone who likes to deep condition on wet hair, this will probably work a whole lot better for you as far as distribution and slip. After revisiting this and using it with heat this time, I will say that it was an improved experience. It definitely made my hair more soft and manageable and it also has some strengthening properties as well. Of course, this is the typical eight ounce size deep conditioner from Sultanicals, but because it was so thick, I don't get my usual three to four uses from it. And for me, unfortunately, it's just not worth a repurchase. All right. Whew. So we finally made it through today's full ass wash day. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And on your way to watching another video of mine, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.